the difference between E with an acute accent and E with a grave accent in French. Here is a little pronunciation guide showing the difference between the two E's in French. What are the lines over the E's called? This accent over the letter E is called an acute accent. This accent over the letter E is called a grave accent. You pronounce the two letters in slightly different ways. An E with an acute accent is pronounced E. E. Like the vowel sound in the word pay. E. The E with a grave accent is pronounced E. E like the E in the word fed. So, E and E. E, E. So, you pronounce délicieux and très, like this. Délicieux, très. So, it's délicieux, but très. E, E. Let's practice. Have a go at pronouncing these words in French. I'll give you a few seconds before I pronounce each word so that you can practice by saying it out loud. How would you say the first word? Médecin. Médecin. It means doctor. The next word? Marché. Marché. It means market. The third word? Sin. Sin means seen. The fourth word? Pièce. Pièce means room or coin. The next word? Lèvre. Lèvre means lip. The sixth word? Première, première, meaning first. The next word? Déjà, déjà, meaning already. The next word? Parler, parler, it means spoken. The next word? Météo, météo, meaning weather. The next word? Frère, frère, means brother. The next word? Été, été, means summer. The next word? Mère, mère, means mother. The next word? Déjeuner, déjeuner, means lunch. The next word? Bière, bière, means beer. And then the last word? Trouver. Trouvé means found. If you're finding this video useful, please consider pressing the like button, or as the French say, le bouton j'aime, or in fact they tend to say, mettez un petit pouce levé, which means put a little thumbs up. Or you might even be so kind as to subscribe, s'abonner, as it really helps this channel to grow and reach a wider audience. Merci. In context. It's always good to look at rules in context because it helps to solidify them in your mind. Let's read through a few paragraphs from Les Miserables by Victor Hugo and focus on any words that contain either an E with an acute accent or an E with a grave accent. 1. Monsieur Myriel. En 1815, Monsieur Charles François Bienvenu Briel était évêque de Digne. C'était un vieillard d'environ 75 ans. 
Il occupait le siège de Digne depuis 1806. Quoique ce détail ne touche en aucune manière au fond même de ce que nous avons à raconter, il n'est peut-être pas inutile, ne fût-ce que pour être exact en tout, d'indiquer ici les bruits et les propos qui avaient couru sur son compte au moment où il était arrivé dans le diocèse. Vrai ou faux, ce qu'on dit des hommes tient souvent autant de place dans leur vie et surtout dans le destiné que ce qu'ils font. Monsieur Myriel était fils d'un conseiller au Parlement d'Aix, noblesse de robe. On comptait de lui que son père, le réservant pour hériter de sa charge, l'avait marié de fort bonne heure à 18 ou 20 ans, suivant un usage assez répandu dans les familles parlementaires. Charles Myriel, nonobstant ce mariage, avait, disait-on, beaucoup fait parler de lui. Il était bien fait de sa personne, quoique d'assez petite taille, élégant, gracieux, spirituel. Toute la première partie de sa vie avait été donnée au monde et aux galanteries. La révolution survint, les événements se précipitèrent, les familles parlementaires décimées, chassées, traquées, se dispersèrent. So the words we were focusing on were été, meaning was, évêque, bishop, c'était, it was, siège, seat, détail, meaning detail, manière, way, arrivé, means arrived, diocèse, is a diocese, destiné, destiny, père, father, réservant, reserving, hérité, to inherit, marié, means married, répondu, means common, élégant, elegant, première, first, été, means been, donné, given, révolution, means revolution, événement, events, se précipiter, were rushed through, décimé, means decimated, chassé, pursued, traqué, means hunted down, se disperser, were dispersed. Now, you might have noticed a few words in that extract from Les Misérables contained an E with a little hat on top. The little hat on top of the E is called a circumflex accent. The pronunciation of the letter E with a circumflex accent is exactly the same as the E with a grave accent. So, it's pronounced like the E in fed. Here are the words from the extract that contained an E with a circumflex. Evic, meaning bishop. Mem, means same. Peut-être, means maybe. And être, means to be. Where did these accents come from? The actual word for little lines or markers or accents added to letters is diacritics, which comes from the ancient Greek word diacritikos, meaning distinguishing or separative. Basically, they are distinguishing features that create differences between letters. The French language is written using the Latin alphabet, but there came a point when the alphabet wasn't enough to describe how the French language sounded. This became especially apparent during the Renaissance, when publisher printers decided to use accents to distinguish between different pronunciations of the vowels. The accents over the E made it clear how to say the words. This was a big step away from the Latin language, which doesn't have any accent markers or diacritics. The first French accent to appear was the acute accent which was used mainly on the end of words at first to show that the E was pronounced like A. Look at the difference in pronunciation between these pairs of words. Parle, 
parler. So you can see how the accent on the E changes it from an E sound to an A sound. Parle, parler. Parle means speaks and parler means spoken. Arrive, arrivé. Arrive, arrivé. Arrive means arrives and arrivé means arrived. Joue, jouer. Joue, jouer. Joue means plays and jouer means played. The acute accent then made its way into other parts of the words, but also the grave accent and the circumflex accents started to appear towards the end of the 17th century. Whilst the role of the acute accent was to mark a difference in pronunciation, the grave accent and the circumflex accent were used more to mark the disappearance of certain letters. Generally, an E with a circumflex accent shows that the old word used to have an ES rather than an E with a circumflex. For example, the old word was fest, and in modern French we say fête, fête, meaning party. The old word was ancestre, whereas in modern French we say ancêtre, ancêtre, meaning ancestor. The old word was forest, and in modern French we say forêt, forêt, for forest. In Old French, they used to say conquest. In modern French, they say conquête, conquête, meaning conquest. And in Old French, they used to say best, whereas in modern French, they say bête, which means beast. All of this is, however, historical and doesn't affect how we learn modern French. It's simply nice to know. For now, though, just remember how to pronounce them. E with an acute accent is pronounced like the vowel sound in the word pay, so e, whereas e with a circumflex accent or a grave accent is pronounced like the e in the word fed, e, eh, e. Eh.